left Pex shelter uh, yesterday. That's all I could do. It is what it is. My body said, stop. Um, before I entered the Smokies, after I took time off from my knee, I told myself to just keep it low, keep it steady, do the best I can, stop when I felt pain or whatever, um, and just, you know, don't stress about miles until I hit hot springs. And that gave me, that would give me a solid 100 miles of taking care of my knee and making it stronger, doing those exercises to strengthen and so forth, because it doesn't happen overnight. Just because I, you know, do these hip exercises, which I should show you, um, but not right now. Um, but it, it doesn't happen overnight. So, you know, about 100 miles of stretching, rolling, strengthening, um, walking at a comfortable pace. Um, then by the time I hit hot springs, I should be strong and definitely managing the pain and um, and ready to push my miles beyond a comfort zone that is realistic for me, my personal goals to get to Maine. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm not stressing about having stopped five miles short of my goal yesterday. It is what it is. And, uh, and there's no ice today. Oh, thank you, God. Yesterday was treacherous. I did not like that at all. And it made for slow hiking for all of us. So it's better today. It's beautiful. I don't even have my jacket on. And uh, so my goal today is, um, I wanna say Crosby or Cosby, um, Cosby shelter, but the Mount Cameron Tower is just two miles after that. So if I have it in me to push to the tower, that's where I'm gonna go. If not, then I'll stop at Cosby. Anywho. Tally ho! <laughs> Another pretty part of the trail. The trees filled in and the moss. Have I mentioned that I love moss? <laughs> oh, I don't know what it is about it. Maybe I was moss in my last life. I'll tell you how many times this happens to me. My pole goes down and I'm gonna keep walking and, and it gets stuck. Makes for treacherous conditions. This is my least favorite type of terrain. These rocks, so hard to get foot placement. <sighs> it slows me down. I stopped at Tri-Corner Shelter, had lunch, and now I'm heading to Cosby, and I should get there about 6.30, and if I feel energetic enough, then I'll go two more miles, I think it's just two, to the camera tower to make tomorrow shorter, but at the very least, I'll get to the next shelter for the night. Oh, oh, I am not happy. I haven't used my phone, you know, the apps. Um, when I got my new phone, as you're probably aware by now, because of my frustration that my phone has been giving me trouble, I got a new phone, um, in reinstalled my apps, like iTunes, you know, my music and Audible, my books and um, uh, podcasts, but I haven't listened to anything since I got my phone back. So just now, I went into iTunes, clicked on playlist for my library. No music is there. So I looked at podcasts, nothing. I am not amused. I am not happy. Well, I'm happy. This makes me happy. So I guess I'll just...
Unfortunately, right around here, there's a plane crash site. And with the leaves not fully grown in, I may be able to get a glimpse of the metal. Apparently it's an old military plane. I haven't done the research, but that's what I've heard on gut hooks. There's a little blurb about it, but... Hmm. And there it is. Yep. Apparently an old military plane. Remember I told you that I don't like those little rocks. <laughs> That's all the trail has been and it's really taking its toll. So I think when I get to Hot Springs or whatever the next place, I've got my Las Sportivas. They still have oh, a couple hundred more miles. I've been willing these to wear out. Um, they're comfortable and I like them and all, but the sole, when I look, the Merrill Moabs that I wore at the end last year, I think Merrill's just in general fit my feet better. I really like them. And the soles, when you look at them, they look about the same thickness, but maybe the Merrill's are made out of some stiffer rubber or um, whatever it is, because I don't feel the rock so much. But man, I got my shoes off and I'm just um, stretching my toes and massaging the rocks, the bottom of my big toe and the balls of my feet. Every little stone is like a dagger. Wah, wah, wah. So I'm just taking 10 minutes to sitting on a rock in the middle of nothing. <laughs> Everybody's passing me. So I also have an ulterior motive. So through hikers have to stay in shelters here in the Smokies. But if the shelter is full, then we can tent. So already three people and here comes another one now. Maybe the shelter will be full and I can set up my tent. Hello. I'm getting chilly. So I got to get this body moving. Put my shoes back on and go. We arrived at Cosby Shelter and it was full and all the tent flaps were taken as well. There was actually a young man setting his tent up right next to the trail, um, right at the entrance. So um, a guy who I fell into pace with toward the end of today, his name is Grasshopper, which was my trail name last year. Um, but we noticed that point one before the shelter there was a little path with a clearing, which is where we are now, which um, a few good tent sites. It's gonna rain tonight, so I hope I chose well. I didn't wanna be right down. Um, it's kinda hilly, and I originally was gonna pick a spot here and realized if it rains, I'll get flooded, so I picked a different spot. And then, so I thought, oh, I haven't done this in a while. Um, I'll set up my tripod and put it on time-lapse, and record setting up my tent so i did that and finished picked up the camera and realized i didn't set it to be facing the tent so i have about 10 minutes of a rhododendron bush so i deleted that so um i just hung a bear bag there's only there's not appropriate trees to do it the traditional way so hopefully it will be before dark um, and i can show you how I hang a bear bag when, as long as we have two trees, <laughs> I'll show you, I hope. And if I forget tonight, then I promise I will before this journey is over. All right now I'm hungry and I'm gonna see what I have. I have one day left of food and I should be at Davenport Gap by 2.30 tomorrow. So I am fine, but I'm tired. And I'm so happy to be in my tent because it is much more comfortable and this pad the sleeping pad that i have is the thermarest and um x therm and it's really loud so i always feel bad in the shelters when i roll over because it's really loud they say that as it gets worn you know over the weeks and months of sleeping on it it gets quieter but it's not quiet yet so in the shelter sometimes i was lying and my hips hurting and then i just sit a little longer than i want and i hear somebody else rolling over so then i quick roll over at the same time <laughs> all right anyway let's see what's for dinner since i'm low on food um i have enough but i'm not gonna cook tonight because i don't have any more cooked meals um i'm having spam some colby cheese 
and some olives. And one of my favorites, as an hors d'oeuvre, these uh, green pea snacks. And of course, water. Gourmet. These are so good. I never liked olives until I was an adult. As a kid, I thought they were gross. And probably about 10 years ago, I started to like them. Mm -mm. There's some black olives too that I saw in Walmart. Mm. I'm happy. Mm. <laughs> When's the last time you had Spam? Come on. It reminds me of my childhood. Mm. Holy moly. It's about 8.30 and I'm stealth camping by the Cosby shelter. And I don't know if you can hear the wind starting to whip through. It's supposed to rain tonight, um, about 10 o'clock tonight until about 10 o'clock tomorrow. So I'll probably be starting the day in the rain, but I didn't know about all the wind. Listen, it hasn't started raining yet, but the wind is strong. I hope they don't blow away. I hope my tent stakes hold and the rain fly works. Oh my God. No visual for this one, but listen to the rain and the wind. Good morning. Just woke up in my tent about 15 minutes ago. And it's been raining all night. My tent fly, I haven't been outside yet, but it's sagged in. Um, I'm wondering if one of the stakes didn't come loose because the fly is touching the tent, so it's misting in and everything's damp. Um, but that's okay. I'm going out of the Smokies today to Davenport Gap and um, getting a ride into town to resupply. So hopefully the sun will be out and I can find a place to hang my things yeah, to dry um but I'll fill you in later on that so I'm just it's hard because it's so cramped but I'm trying to pack my um, backpack and everything from inside the tent and that way when I get out put my raincoat on and just grab my food bag and drop the tent and go um oh um blue and mayhem were supposed to be a day ahead Remember when I stopped short the other day um, of the ice storm at ice water, um, they went on and hoping to get out of the Smokies yesterday, but they stopped short too. Um, and so, yeah, anyway, they're here, um, but they're down at the shelter, which is 0.1 away. So I'll head down there in just a few minutes and I'm not even sure I want to make coffee or anything. Maybe I'll just have like a protein bar and, um, and hit the road. I want to get out of here. But maybe I'll have coffee. It depends. But first, I gotta get out of this tent and on my feet. <laughs> it's wet. Take the tent down and get going. See that this side has caved in, but this is pulled taut so that the tent inside is nice and snug. This stake here, I'm actually looking for advice. Why? Um, the stake here, if I even pull it more, it really isn't necessarily pulling the tarp away. It's caving in here. And on the other end, where I added that extra guy line, the other side has caved in a little bit as well. I'm wondering if it's stretched out from all the use, but it shouldn't. I'll play around with it when I get into town, I guess. See what happens to my hair when I take my buff off? I think it's just standing straight on end because of grease. Ah, uh, 
Ooh. I'm on my way to Davenport Gap. Oh. The rain stopped. Right now it's just mist and drops coming out of the trees. So that's fine. Oh. I'm sad that I didn't get to mount the camera camera fire tower last night. That would have been fun. But um, when I got to Cosby, as I said, that shelter was full and they had said that many had gone on to sleep in the tower. So that was most likely full. And since we saw those two stealth spots just right off the trail, right near Cosby, we decided to just stop there. And I say we, that was Grasshopper, an older man that um, I fell into pace with at the end of the day. Um, in any case, mud. Every once in a while the sun tries to poke through, but hasn't had success yet. Decisions, decisions. This way is the camera tower, but it's more than a half a mile. Davenport Gap is 5.2 in this direction. It's really foggy. It's still a misty rain. I think I'll pass. I was there last year. I know what it's like. It's cool, but I think I just want to get down to Davenport Gap and finish my day. That's not the best way to leave the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> Smoky with Smoky Mountain, Mountain, Mountain Angel. Angel. Oh, I'm so Tina. happy to see you. Every time I've been to Davenport Gap, I'm with you. I know. I have to stop coming your to Davenport Gap. Your intro video is you at Davenport it Gap. Is. Yes. Oh my gosh, it is. And yes. no more Davenport Gap because that means I didn't finish this year and I will. So, That's right. all right. Absolutely. Done with the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> oh my <laughs> word. We have seen t shirt weather, we have seen ice storms and snow and rain and every name a, name a season. And we saw it in the last few days. Spring? Yeah, well, right now. Right now exactly. <laughs> I'm with Smoky Mountain Angel, better known now lately as U Turn. Yes. <laughs> if you meet her, ask her how she got that name. But in the meantime, they, she picked me up at Davenport Gap today, and we just went for dinner, and we are traveling on Boogertown Road. <laughs> Boogertown. <laughs> I want to live on. So <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wild, wild animals and went out of the mud. So, what was the cow doing, Tina? What exactly was the cow? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is, I said, Burger Town Road. This cow, it was like waterfall. <laughs> he was peeing. Jeremy, you chose her. <laughs> you married her. Yep. And I don't regret any second. Aww, <laughs> she, he doesn't regret any second. Oh, are we a little bit punchy? We ate at the Golden Corral and we are quite full. <laughs> we have to roll to the car. And this is Matt Bella Bella. Hello. Hello. Booker Town Road. <laughs>